Hello, friends. Hey, how's it going? You know what time of the month it is. Yes, it's absolutely the numbers are out from Berkshire Hathaway, and we've got them. Yes, so we'll run through these numbers for Ventura County Real Estate real quick, and we will get started with the number of new listings. The reason you are seeing some more inventory come on the market is because year-to-date new listings are up 19%. So that has been a big number compared to the last few years of inventory. More listings come on, more choices for buyers, less of a seller's market. Yes, sold listings are up 1.28%, so just slightly up year, uh, year to date. And we've got our average sold price is up 7%. So prices are still going up. The median sales price is also up 6.5%. So about the same amount. So our average sold price is one million, about eighty thousand is the average sales price of what things are closing now. Well, the median sales price is up, but actually the list price and sold list price without taking the median out, it is actually down, uh, down almost five percent. So even though that's showing up, if you take out the median, the best of the worst and the worst of the best, it's actually down about five percent. The uh, average days on market is down 12%. So it was 41 days year to date last year at this time, and now it's 36 days. So I'd make you think things are selling quicker, but if we go month over month, it's actually up 15%. So showing that it's taken a few more days to sell than it did last year in the month of August. I think it's price point. The higher prices you are, let's say two to five million, those houses, average days on market are almost 180 days. So when you look at this, it seems like, yes, yeah, it's creeped up a few days. It's creeped up more than a few days. It's creeped up a lot of days. Yeah, the um, list price to sales price ra ratio is still hovering right at 100%, per percent, which means if you get your home price right, um, you're going to sell it for your asking price. Um, but if you get it priced a little too high, then you will be doing price reductions to get to that price that equals what a buyer wants to pay for it. Yeah, actually, if you get your house priced right, it's always priced right once it's sold, right? Because the buyer <laughs> paid it. So that's the right price. It's called the market price. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, homes that are in good condition, of course, always sell the quickest that are nice and clean and move in re uh, ready. That's always been true. It is still true in this market. Um, we've seen quite a few things as you look through all of the inventory like we do every day um, that look like there's some great things on the market depending on what you're looking for. Yes, not only good condition, but as more homes come on the market, it's good location too, which didn't really matter. The hotter the market is, the location kind of falls off the chart because the house by the Sewer plant sells for exactly the same price at the house at the end of a cul-de-sac, but as more houses come on the market, you see a bigger divergence in prices. The sewer plant's going to bring less money than the house that's on the end of a cul-de-sac. Yes, well, it's always about location, 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 right? The three keys to real estate. <laughs> well, yes, we've heard that a million times, but sometimes it's more true than other times. Right now, it's very true. Yes, definitely true. So buyers have choices now, which is really, really nice for them because they haven't in several years. Um, interest rates have come down somewhat, um, and we hope that they come down a little more, and then we will see what happens. But you don't want to wait for the too much for the frenzy because prices continue to go up, up 7% again year to date. So um, I don't think waiting for interest rates to go down is really the best strategy when prices continue to go up. <laughs> Prices on this chart saying they're continuing to go up. We see it totally different. We see price reductions. We see a lot of cancellations from buyers yes. who are very, very skittish. Mm -hmm. We basically watch three markets. We watch the Fort Lauderdale market. We watch the market in Oklahoma. And we're here in Southern California. Those three markets have a lot in common. And they're all three experiencing the same thing at the same time. Can you beat that? Yeah, that is true. The first buyer that gets into escrow might have won um, some kind of a, a bidding war or multiple offer situation. But then they get in, they do their home inspections, and we are seeing a lot more first bu uh, buyers cancel and then go move on to the next buyer. So that is happening more than we have uh, ever seen in this market. 
I know, I was looking at the market in Fort Lauderdale, the first three pages on their hot sheet were all cancellations. I was like, wow, three pages, that's over 60 properties. So just a little note, things are not only happening here, they're happening across the country. If you have any questions at all, right? That's right. You know where to find us? CarrieandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thank you.